March 30th, 2023, Thursday of the fifth week of Lent. A reading from the book of Genesis. When Abram prostrated himself, God spoke to him. My covenant with you is this. You are to become the father of a host of nations. No longer shall you be called Abram. Your name shall be Abraham, for I am making you the father of a host of nations. I will render you exceedingly fertile. I will make nations of you. Kings shall stem from you. I will maintain my covenant with you and your descendants after you throughout the ages as an everlasting pact to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. I will give to you and to your descendants after you the land in which you are now staying, the whole land of Canaan as a permanent possession, and I will be their God. God also said to Abraham, On your part, you and your descendants after you must keep my covenant throughout the ages. The Word of the Lord. The response is, The Lord remembers His covenant forever. Look to the Lord in His strength. Seek to serve Him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that He has wrought, His portents, and the judgments He has uttered. The Lord remembers His covenant forever. You descendants of Abraham, His servants, sons of Jacob, His chosen ones, He the Lord is our God. Throughout the earth His judgments prevail. The Lord remembers His covenant forever. He remembers forever His covenant, which He made binding for a thousand generations, which He entered into with Abraham and by His oath to Isaac. The Lord remembers His covenant forever. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Jews, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever keeps my word will never see death. So the Jews said to him, Now we are sure that you are possessed. Abraham died, as did the prophets, yet you say whoever keeps my word will never taste death? Are you greater than our father Abraham who died? Or the prophets who died? Who do you make yourself out to be? Jesus answered, If I glorify myself, my glory is worth nothing. But it is my Father who glorifies me, of whom you say, He is our God. You do not know Him, but I know Him. And if I should say that I do not know Him, I would be like you, a liar. But I do know Him, and I keep His word. Abraham, your father, rejoiced to see my day. He saw it and was glad. So the Jews said to him, You are not yet fifty years old, and you have seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, Before Abraham came to be, I am. So they picked up stones to throw at him. But Jesus hid and went out of the temple area. The Gospel of the Lord.